our today topic is band break in theory of machines mechanical engineering fourth semester as here to Jaipur our topic is band break and definition and what is the band break a band break is a primary or secondary break consisting of a band of friction material that tighten concentrically concentra, concentrically around a cylindrical piece of equivalent to either prevent it from rotating or to slow it as we know the brakes is a mechanical device which is used to reduce the motion or stop the any body or vehicle a band brake consists of a flexible band of leather one or more ropes or a steel line with frictional material which embraces a part of the circumference of the drum a band brake is also called a simple band brake in which one end of band is attached to a fulcrum of the lever while the other band end is attached to the lever at a distance b as explained by the figure in further slides when a force p is applied to the lever at c the lever turn about the fulcrum o and tighten to the band and hence the brakes are applied band is wrapped around part around a rotating drum tension can be applied to the band using a using a rope construction of band brake band brake is made of rope or band belt band which is lined with a frictional material and band is wrapped partially around a drum with its free end to a lever an external force can be applied to the free ends of this lever for braking due to addition of the external force there is a frictional friction between the bands due to this friction force the band is tightened and a tangential force acts on a on the drum a tightening of the bands creates a tension in the band as we all know that when a body or a part of any material or body tightened by a rope or band then the tension is produced in that band on which it stops the wheel connected now we will try to understand about the working of band brake when the brake is released when the brake band brand is released there is no hydraulic pressure applied to the servo and the drum is free to rotate within the band and when the brake is applied hydraulic pressure is applied to the servo that in turn tightens the band around the drum so you will be understand that during the releasing condition there is no hydraulic pressure at the servo but at the time of apply application or applied conditions of the brake the hydraulic pressure to the servo is applied the result is that the drum is locked in a stationary position causing an output change from the planetary gear set till now 
as we discussed about the construction and working of the band brake we can easily understand by seeing the figure as explained by figure a and b and figure a is represent the clockwise rotation of the drum and figure b represent the anti clockwise rotation of the drum as figure a and b describe the construction and the band break a lever of length l is attached to a pulley by a band and in band t1 and t2 are the tension in the tight side and slack side and B is the distance between the two ends of the band belt or rope. So we can easily understand about the construction of band bond break. Now let capital T1 is the tension in the tight side of the band and T2 is the tension in the slack side of the band and theta angle of lap or embrace of the band on the drum H explain L O M angle L O M is the theta that is the angle of lap and mu is the coefficient of friction between the band and the drum and small r is the radius of the drum and small t is the thickness of drum band sorry thickness of band and r e is the effective radius of the drum that is the radius of drum plus thickness of half of thickness of band Now classification of band break. Band break can be classified as simple break, band break and differential band break. And the difference between the simple band break and differential band break is explained by the following figure as explained in the figure in the simple band break fulcrum is at one end of lever while in the differential band break fulcrum is between two ends of lever and simple band break is not self energizing while the differential band break is always self energizing and simple band break is not self locking while the differential band break can be self locking so by this presentation you can easily understand about the working condition, working construction or and working of a band break. In band break, there are elements like a shaft, band, band break, pulley, and rope, or we can say band, or lever of length L. So there are the elements of band break. There are two conditions of working of band break that is an anti-clockwise direction and clockwise direction as shown by two figures in a figure A the clockwise direction is shown and in figure B anti-clockwise direction is shown. Thank you.